Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. It's it's been since Memorial Day back in May since I did the last video, but I got a new position at work and it's been keeping me super busy. But the bonus of that, I'm able to purchase a brand new 2022 X Max Yamaha. Just picked this bad boy up yesterday. Super excited. Traded in the Honda ADV 150. So I have no more Hondas. That flag is going to have to come down. And I'm going to have to get me a nice Yamaha flag. Alright guys. So today we're going to go over this bad boy. We're going to start her up. Let's see what it's all about. All right, so let's start with, let's go with this storage other thing. So here's all your controls here. I got the fob in there. It's, it's all keyless. So if I have the fob in there, you press that in. Actually, I went ahead and started up. Let's just go ahead and start it up for now. So there's your gauges. 77 miles per gallon. That's what I was getting on my way home from Pennsylvania to Maryland. I drove 37 miles on the way back. I drove the ATV to the dealership and drove this back. And let me tell you what, it was very frigid. Snow flurries flying around. It was like 29 degrees with the wind chill. It was not a pleasant ride, but we did it. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this up. It's just like anything else, squeeze. Is a 300 cc. The tax says 100. I had it up to. I was in for the, the speed limit well, on the road I was in was 55, and I was doing 70 with not even full uh, with ease. From all the research I've seen, she will do 90. Here's your RPMs. Really liking this flat gray. You got your LED lights. I do want to see if there is a thing on here. So you got your high beams, your regular lights, and a pass light. Let me see what that's all about. You got to hold that in. Oh, so there's a light on the bottom here. That's the pass light, whatever pass light is. Let's go ahead and shut it off. So we turn it to open. So it's got your seat. And so this, this storage compartment right here That one doesn't stay locked. This one, you have it does stay locked. You have to put the button for that one. And that one's got a charger in there you can for your phone. And then you got your seat button. You can fit a full-size helmet. And if you desire a second full size helmet, plenty of storage in this bad boy. And if it's at night, I love this little feature here. And this little LED light in here so you can see what you're doing. And here's your standard toolkit. But yeah, plenty of space in there. I like this, this uh, red stitching in the seat. It's very nice. The seat is very comfortable. I love the look of this thing. Absolutely smooth.
And then on your controls, you have the off, which we're off. And then you can turn it to the gas tank to unlock it, pop it up. It takes three and a half gallons of gas. The mirror is adjustable, but you have to take these two screws out and then you can move it up or down. This is at its lowest position, which I'm totally fine with because I don't like completely looking into into the wind in the windshield. As far as handling, my first impression is this thing is I thought the ADV 150 was smooth, but this thing, it's just like gliding on air. See, a lot of power, just very agile, very back and forth. I mean, it, total weight on this thing is like 409, but when, you, when you're sitting on it and riding it, you can, it, feels, it feels so light. It does have the foot things you can put, you can, you can spread out and see I'm 5'10", it was 5'11", I'm like 5'10 and a half maybe. And um, as you can see, I got plenty of room. So yes, this is my, my new ride. I can't wait to take you guys on some adventures on this thing. Um, I'm gonna try to get out this week, it's gonna be cold. But you know what? I got the right gear and we'll take a nice December ride. But I did want to show off. It does have the side pegs in case you want a passenger. It does have the kickstand. This is the center stand. It does have the regular kickstand. Clean that thing. Max logo there. Nice looking two wheels there. Got some nice tires. They didn't, they're cheap tires. They got some nice Dunlops on there. So I always name my bikes and my, my riding buddy came down to check it out this morning and he's looking at it and he's like, that thing looks like Megatron from Transformers and that's what, that's what the name of it is, Megatron. Alright guys, again I apologize for the lack of videos, um, everything is caught up at work and then now it's going to be time to ride. And we're going to go on a lot of adventures on the X-Max 300. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be getting on this thing and taking a ride here shortly. Remember, like, subscribe. Until next time, we're out of here.